at any point that gal could have said, hey, wait a minute, but she did not. Chief, just clarify, does your department have any reports uh, on hand uh, of missing women from that immediate area? Sir, what we've been doing over the last three days, we have a dedicated team of detectives going over all our missing person reports, cross-referencing those reports with locations, not just there on Imperial, but throughout the city. Chief, so that's continuing that particular part of it, the missing person report, what, and will continue. What needs to take place for identity? Um, can you give us a time frame? And is it going to be is it something you want to get all the identities before you release even one? Can you talk a little about procedure? The most important thing about identity is you want to be able to identify the victim and contact their relatives before anybody else knows. That's the respectable thing to do. Now, because of the state of these bodies, and this is a Dr. Miller question, is they have to do DNA to identify, and they have to compare it to something. That is, takes a little bit of a timeline. There's some time involved there, and that's where we're at now. We know we have the six initial victims, females. We have the DNA. We receive some DNA from the neighborhood, and now they have to do that comparison before they can confirm if, in fact, this is the victim name, address, relatives, et cetera. But the most important thing is we have to do is once we do identify the victims, we have to contact the doctor, Dr. Miller, will contact the families first and notify them Chief, of the tragedies. Why did you wait to go back to the house and start your investigation again? There's been a few, was a period of a couple of days here, uh, a few days since you've actually been out there. Why did you wait? Actually, we did not wait. As soon as the incident took place and the SWAT unit made entry and discovered the two decomposed bodies on the third floor, we put zone car personnel in the house and we secured the location. Now, officers and representatives from the coroner's office can only work X number of hours per day, and then they have to take relief, they have to go back, readjust, and plan. So that was always, that scene was always secured for our investigation. We did it Friday. Saturday, Sunday, we had our command bus out there trying to get information from the neighborhood. Then we went back again Monday and started on it again. Plus, we were trying to talk to the suspect during this process also. But at no time did we ever leave the scene. There was always police personnel on point to make sure everything was secure. Guys, one more question. Oh, Chief, Chief did you just clarify one more time. How many times are you aware the police department has been called out to that location in the last five years? I go back three years, twice. In September, then there was another one, I believe it, either, it was in 2007 for a domestic violence call. Two calls in three years at that address on Imperial. Do we have this four bodies plus the skull or, or three bodies and the, the skull being the fourth body? Is it four plus the skull or is that, in effect, five bodies? So I can be clear, and this is per Dr. Miller. I don't say anything here unless I get it clear through Dr. Miller. Up to this morning, there were six bodies. Today, we discovered four additional, what we believe to be, four bodies in the backyard and the skull wrapped in the paper bag in the bucket, which was located in the basement. Chief, did nobody kind of see that bucket in the basement when you were there the first time? Was Mark, I can't answer that question. You know, I wasn't part of that search. But I do know that the skull was wrapped in some type of paper or plastic in the bucket in the basement. And at that time, they were searching for bodies. I, you know, I don't know what the circumstances were, and I don't know where they discovered that box, that bucket this afternoon. Do you have reason to believe there's any more bodies? And if so, was any of it based on information from the suspects before you had the first person? No. Number one is, do I believe there's more bodies? I don't know at this time. What we're going to continue to do is search the property until, until we're totally satisfied it is totally clean. That's why we will continue overnight with the excavating, tomorrow we will come back with the fire department and look in the walls, ceilings, wherever we need to look to confirm that, in fact, there is nothing else there. I would like to believe there's nothing else there, but we won't know until we search everything. All right, guys, that's it. We're done. 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 Uh, given some of the public perception 